So we've got a cold day today, so we didn't really want to go outside and do much outside, so we're doing some more modifications inside. Our second modification is here on our island. So um, everybody's sink comes with these little panels, which uh, we don't use them because whenever we're traveling, we usually have some stuff stored in the sink that's taller than the sink so they don't fit on there. We kind of don't use them. We often have a couple of dishes in the sink that are waiting to be washed or whatever. So we hardly ever use these. So we decided why not turn them into extended counter space. So we're going to take this today and we're going to add it as a counter right here with a fold up hinge. Now we've already tried to do this once uh, on the other side because this is kind of an experiment. So we've got one put in here and it works pretty well. Uh, just shoot underneath here and you can see we put this hinge on it and these two hinges here. We don't really like the way it looks. It's not completely functional. So we found another hinge product that looks like this that we're gonna try to use uh, today on this side. And if this one works out well, we're gonna buy a second set and put them over on the other side. So we'll see, here's how it all goes together. So it's really important to take good measurements for a project like this. And you know the old saying, measure twice, cut once. Now we didn't actually do any cutting, but the first thing you saw me do there was take a measurement for where the beams were on the sides of the island. Because if we put this into a place where there's not a good solid connection, uh, into the beams and into the frame of the island, the whole thing's just gonna tear apart. So after making those measurements and figuring out where they were, marking the holes on the hinges, I went ahead and pre-drilled holes. Uh, because of the covering on the uh, panel, it really wasn't a very easy to get the screws in. We knew from first experience with the failed uh, shelf that we put in. So after pre-drilling all those holes, just have to screw the bracket onto the shelf uh, this particular bracket, based on the size of it, had three screws that went into the shelf and two screws that went into the wall. So there's the first set of screws in. And now we'll change the angle so maybe you can see a little bit better to get the second set of brackets in. And then the whole thing's ready to install on the island. careful to make sure that these are in snug, but we don't want to over tighten them because the screws are just the length of the board and I can feel them pressing here, but they did not poke through. Also, when I pre-drill those holes, you want to make sure that you don't drill all the way through. You might want to mark your drill bit with a piece of tape if you're not confident about that. So you know how deep to go with the pre-drilled holes. The pre-drilled holes really help. These screws are not self-tapping, so they do not want to get started on their own otherwise. So there we go. Now we just have to take get it held up in place and screw it into the wall. So once again, I am marking where the holes in the bracket are so that I can pre-drill them just to make sure that everything attaches as smoothly and easily as possible. By the way, while you're watching, check out this handy hack. Those are two command hooks on the front of the island that we use to hang our water bottles on. Great little trick to save some more space. So we have this shelf installed and we are really excited about how well it worked. First of all, the hinges uh, were $15 on Amazon. There's a link in the description down below. The whole project took us like 15 minutes to put in. And that was with videotaping, which makes everything take longer than it normally would take. Um, they, it works really great. As you can see, it just locks into place. There are two little tabs here to unlock it, to pull it back down. Um, there's not a listing on the Amazon, on the Amazon listing, there's nothing about how much weight they're rated to hold. 
um, but there's no play at all in this. It's really strong, and the screws are uh, quite strong, and they're through this molding and this molding into the frame of the island, So, and they were like two-inch screws, three-inch screws, so I would expect to not have any problem at all with weight. Um, this is our five gallon water bucket. It's about half full. So it weighs probably about 12 or 15 pounds right now. And you can see there's no play at all with this. So that's great. Now, the one thing somebody's going to say in the comments is, well, what about your power outlet down here? You can't get to it now. Well, um, our thought process is where it's going to live here. I mean, first of all, it gives us a little space when we're doing dishes, but also, you know, if the coffee pot or the crock pot or our toaster were going here, we'd be lifting this up and then we'd have access to that outlet anyway. So it's really not going to be a big deal. Um, and we've got outlets over here. We've got outlets up here. We've got outlets on the other. I mean, we got plenty of outlets. So losing access to this outlet 24 seven is really not a big deal. And when we are using that outlet, we would have something sitting right here on the counter anyway. So now it's just gonna be sitting on this counter. So we think this is a great solution. We're definitely buying a second set of these and redoing the other side. And we've used that kind of a piece of worthless wood for us into something that's extended our workspace and our living space. So you can't go wrong with that, right?